Well, hello there again, brothers and sisters of the Voblitz universe. You're watching Voblitz Addict. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to talk about the T34, which is American Tier 8 Premium Hold Down Tank. Massive, massive armor and this great camo. I really appreciate this camo. I don't have it. I really want to show you uh, just how it looks. But enough about that. Let's look at the, uh, the consumables and go to the gameplay. So you can see it's standard consumables, multi-purpose restoration pack, repair kit and adrenaline as it comes for provision. I'm using cane, uh, case of cola, uh, protective kit and improved fuel. Uh, four ammo loadout as you can see 19 AP rounds, 9 uh, APCR rounds and 6 HE rounds. Uh, I use gun rammer because the penalty is great. If you want to use HE more you can use calibrated but it's uh, one second less uh, any, uh, reload time so it's great for me. And chance gun laying drive. Vertical stabilizer, improved modules, uh, and chanced armor. I would go for the toolbox also uh, if you want to. Improved optics, of course, and improved control back in every single other heavy tank. And this one really depends on your playstyle. Now, just look at the stats 1600 hit points, not bad. 279 on front of the turret, 127 on sides, and 203 on rear. As you can see, hull isn't great. Only 1 point, uh, 102 on uh, front, 76 on sides and 51 on rear. So it's typical of he hold down as American tank. 267.8 uh, view range, quite nice. Uh, concealant isn't great, but it's a heavy tank. Uh, DPM, this is quite a problem here. Only 2000 uh, DPM. Reload time, almost 12 seconds. Uh, but penetrations are great, like 248 on AP. 297 on APCR and 60 with HE and I'm not using calibrated shell so if you, you can use it. Uh, average damage 400 uh, as you can see on AP, 340 on APCR and 515 on HE. Aiming time 5.6 which is terrible for me but the gun is accurate if you uh, aim long enough. As you can see dispersion is only 0 0.3 to 1 which is okay. Uh, gun elevation only 15 degrees, but great that it has 10 degrees of gun depression, so it's really, really great. Top speed, not bad, not great. Uh, 35, uh, forward 12 on reverse, average speed 24, power through weight ratio only 13.7, weight 65.14, uh, which is quite nice for a heavy tank, you can ram in it. Third traverse speed isn't great and whole traverse speed isn't great. That's why I use equipment to make it better. And now let's have a look at the armor. As you can see, we are uh, shooting Ferdinand, so I can show you some weak spots on the turret. The hole is weak, like I told you, it's all about the hole down. So you need to hide your hole and just stick your turret. Uh, as you can see, there are some weak spots on the cheeks and uh, top of the turret, this triangle over the gun mantlet and the hatch. But it's Ferdinand, when you're facing other tanks, there's simply no need to uh, be that worried about. And uh, you can uh, eventually side script in this tank if you need to. Uh, it can bounce some shots, it can eat some shots on tracks, which is uh, quite good in some situations uh, when you have no other options. As you can see, the sides are really, really weak. Uh, same as the side of the turret and um, back of the tank. All you have basically is your turret, but when you use your full gun depression like this, uh, you're basically just uh, make it so strong, it's really basically impossible to penetrate. You have only this small cupola on top, which can be penetrated, but it's not that easy to hit it. As you can see, it's really, really uh, small. So, uh, yeah, try to use it on hills, on ridges, try to use all your gun depression, it will work. Uh, wonders there uh, and uh, let's uh, just switch to some other tank let's say let's uh, pick a French tank uh, let's say heavy they have nice guns with nice penetration Amex and as you can see it's the same situation but this time he can't really uh, hit your turret even if you're not hold down there's just those two weak spots uh, which is this triangle little triangle and the hatch so it's when you move around like back and forth uh, get on uh, hills uh, in a bit of a position where you can uh, go left and right then you're really fine and dandy and now let's take a look at some gameplay i want to show you three games uh, three of uh, my games in this t34 uh, 
I really appreciate this tank. Uh, you know why? Because uh, it's similar to the typical American uh, heavy line. Uh, we're starting with uh, basically now all the tanks can uh, have this uh, um, chance to be a hold on tanks in this line. But before the uh, latest updates, you it started from T29. So you have T29, you have T32, you have M103, and you have uh, T125. And they all basically are hold down tanks, um, but this is one of the best because it uh, combines the nice gun with 400 alpha with uh, great uh, armor on the turret and 10 degrees of gun depression. So if you are able to put it in position like this on, um, on Canyon, as you can see, I stuck myself in a situation where I uh, pulled up too much uh, and they were able to shoot my side of my uh, turret and my hole. So you have to be aware how much you stick out. Uh, but there's uh, enemies on the left and on the right side. So we need to uh, help our team on the right. And at the same time, we need to uh, take care of those on left so we won't get fire from both sides. Um, this T-71 is doing quite a good job, he's map aware, he knows where I am, he's trying to hide, but uh, his teammates, well, <laughs> let's say they're not so, uh, so so map aware, but at least now we're in a situation where we can um, just stick out our turret, as you can see, and there's no chance they're gonna hit us, so we're gonna sit here and farm some damage. Uh, whole team is on uh, on our left side. The enemies are on our right side and uh, I made a little mistake here but I'm just backing up uh, so they can't really get around and uh, have nice shots on me. Uh, I'm trying to simply help my uh, teammates and uh, just secure myself in the situation where I can be effective and because I lost a lot of hit points as you can see. Uh, and by making this mistake at the beginning now it's really really hard to do anything uh, so you have to be very very cautious uh, my team was able to clear those tanks on on the side so i can uh, just uh, try to uh, take care of those on this side unfortunately we hit the bridge as i told you the gun is great if you let it aim if you won't it really can uh, be a little bit of pain uh, because it took age, it really takes ages to to aim in this tank, and it's uh, a bit annoying for me. Uh, but it's typical for all American tanks. They have good guns, but long aiming times. It's like a combination of British and Russian gun. <laughs> Let's say it has nice alpha. It has uh, really long aiming time, but it, when it finally aims. It's like more of a British uh, gun with nice, nice dispersion, nice accuracy. Uh, and as you can see, there's only three enemies here, so we, we can uh, deal with them. From this uh, position where I am, if they won't push me, there's basically no chance they're gonna harm me. So we can just sit here and uh, let them do mistakes, basically. Uh, because there's no need. We are low on hit points, we can't push. We made a mistake, we need to uh, deal with it and live with that. Fortunately, we were able to sneak one shot in, or one more shot. Um, and there's only two enemies left. One is T-71, which will struggle to pen me. And um, the other one is more healthy, so uh, that's basically a problem for us. Uh, so, I don't really want to uh, waste my hit points. Mm. Let's talk about the tank uh, while we were watching. Oh, that was unfortunate. <laughs> um, so, it's a typical hold-down tank. If you're used to American line, even mediums line, like uh, the Sherman or, uh, or any other, they are made to use their gun depression. Basically, that's the main uh, case for, for American tanks. So, simply remember to stay hold down if you drive those. Um, but let's take a look at uh, another battle. Uh, I'm going to show you the same situation. So you try to stick your tank uh, where you can get, get hold down. And this is a perfect spot on this map uh, to get hold down and stay hold down. As long as your team is uh, supporting the, the left side, the ruin side, 
um, as you can see we can uh, be really really effective and uh, unfortunately we wasn't able to to fully use our uh, spot here because we have enemies on the left side uh, and we are quite vulnerable for this side so we need to clear them out first and then we can uh, just try to use our tank in the best possible way oh that turret <laughs> just went flying uh, and this is the spot where you can uh, do stuff like this when you really can use your gun depression show only your turret and there is no way as long as the enemies won't push really they can't really do much uh, against you I'm not really worried about this uh, little canavan here uh, his similar tank it's a similar tank to uh, in the play style so he will stay there uh, he won't push me because uh, simply he can't do much more uh, as you can see the the main difference with the canavan is it has nice uh, very strong uh, front uh, front upper plate uh, so we can bounce shots on this upper plate uh, so we need to uh, take some uh, some more time to aim correctly and push a bit more uh, so we can shoot it uh, but still it has low alpha gun that's the main difference between those tanks we have nice alpha and he doesn't so we can deal like uh, triple the damage he can do to us in a one shot uh, so he needs to be exposed longer than uh, we are and uh, thankfully my team is uh, trying to help me out we're gonna get some ram damage here and now there's uh, nothing uh, we can do uh, and uh, there's nothing that he can do basically because from this position we easily can uh, with our gun depression we can easily get uh, and chew through his uh, upper plate uh, so as you can see that those are center positions on map so if you uh, know the maps it's like the hill on mines it's like uh like like the the ridge line on dead rail uh this spot uh the, the cap spot in the vineyards uh, basically all those uh spots where you can just hide your uh, hole and just stick out your turret and you'll be really really fine and uh, I want to show you one more game hope this review won't be too long but uh, yeah I will probably make it shorter like uh, yeah <laughs> like this where you won't see the beginning of a battle but there was no nothing going on as you can see I'm sitting on zero damage uh, because we were flanking a route uh, and uh, yeah and, and we're gonna try to stay hold down as long as we can we we went on the right side of the map the medium side and the reds went on the left side uh, so we basically uh, got around and now I'm in a bit of a strife because I can't get hold down here as you can see there's a bit of a problem but he's uh, on low health I know I can deal with him so I will simply deal with this IS-3 and then we're gonna try to get in the position where he can go hold down and exactly the same as on any other map uh, on Hellas most of people don't really like Hellas and I really do there are lots of spots uh, where you can uh, spot for your team there are a lot of those where you can uh, be effective by using those ruins over here uh, basically the middle of the map is a place where uh, you can uh, be really effective when you you're in a hold down tank or a, or a light tank where you can uh, just basically spot for your team uh, and I'm not really using the heavy side but there are also a few spots where you can go hold down and be really really effective on that side uh, it really depends on the on the lineup of the both teams where you should go what you should do and there's a few covering spots like here uh, when I can use this uh, pillar here so I can uh, stay hold down uh, and hidden from the enemy I uh, was uh, over side scraping uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that wasn't really great but uh, there's a pile of rocks in front so I can use it to hide my hole but there's uh, it's three on three uh, we need to push we simply need to push there's no time to waste even if we take some shots even if we lose some hit points if you want if you want to push right now uh, there's gonna be uh, a loss it, it is gonna be a loss simply uh, there, there was uh, two on two as you can see one of my our teammates is on one shot on 51 HP and those uh, two left are really really healthy 
so we need to just push around and try to help them because it's already two on two the situation isn't true really looking great uh, fortunately for us um, our amigo was able to stay alive uh, for a quite long time so we can deal with this Pantera over here and now it's all about uh, taking out the Hornet uh, the T49 and uh, as, as soon as we're gonna reload we're gonna push on him and uh, try to do some deal deal some damage as you can see we're work together and clear him out um, five kills not bad game I was really that was really really fun so only first pass unfortunately I did like less than 4k damage in it and it was still a first class but we got the red water so it's all good and basically that's all for this review hope you enjoyed it hope you will like the tank it really earns great credits as you can see almost uh, 100,000 credits without any boosters so it's really really great when you deal uh, enough damage you will be a really rich man so <laughs> yeah um, thanks for watching Hope you enjoyed it, consider subscribing and joining my Discord so we can uh, chat there and we can uh, play some training rooms and do lots of stuff, whatever you want. And basically have fun. And I almost forgot about uh, my fellow YouTuber Endgame uh, from NA server, so he's uh, making a competition uh, concerning uh, the uh, mad games. Uh, basically he uh, has some space in his uh, clan. So if you want to join him, if you want to watch his videos, I will leave uh, the link in the subscription below. And hope you all have fun watching his videos. So take care, bye bye and catch you all on the battlefield.